So, we've all seen those sketchbook slam challenges, and we've all seen and or participated in daily art challenges like Mermaid and Inktober. We know that sketching frequently is great for improving art skills, so why don't we do it every single day? Hello everyone! Welcome, welcome! I hope you like seeing rough and random sketches because that's what you're going to get today along with a little chat about how to improve your art with daily sketches. I hear a lot of people talk about how they can't keep a sketchbook. They can never get all the way through one, and they certainly can't sketch in it every single day. Well, I'm here to tell you that yes, you can. It's not hard to sketch every day. The hardest part is actually just committing to it. So I've been doing daily sketches for the past two years, and I can tell you I have improved immensely. I can definitely recommend a daily dose of art. There are many, many benefits to this. Number one, you'll improve. That is a no-brainer. Number two, you will get much faster at sketching. It may take you an hour or two to finish the simplest sketch when you first get started, but in about a month's time, you will have half that. Number three, you get a really good grasp of the shapes of different things. You know the shapes of a hand, you know the shapes of a flower, you know the shapes that make up a dog or a cat. And number four, which is a result of number two and three, you will get really good at pose sketches because you need to understand the rough shapes and proportions of the body and get them on the paper quickly to make the pose as smooth and natural as possible. Number five, you can open any pickle jar they throw at you I mean, your hands will get super strong because you are exercising them every single day. Just like crunches, if you do them every day for a few months, or eons in my case, you will get rock solid abs. Same thing goes for sketching. I mean, opening pickle jars is an important life skill, right? And finally, it's relaxing, provided the sketches are turning out the way you want them to. I've had many times when I've wanted to throw my sketchbook across the room, but for the most part it's very relaxing. It's great to do at the end of the day to wind down, or first thing in the morning to just chill before the hectic day starts. So have I convinced you to sketch every day? Huh? Huh? Have I? Have I? Have I really? So now that you've been entirely convinced by my infallible logic and my pickle jar opening prowess, now it's time to talk about how to actually keep it going. How do you actually keep up those daily sketches? Now everyone is different, and they all have different motivations and different ways they go about things, but I will tell you some of the things that kept me going and are still keeping me at it. The first thing that will help you out is to pick a theme. I would go with one theme per week. I wouldn't go for a whole month, especially when you first start out because you can easily get burned out somewhere around day 17 or 18. But a weekly theme, it's great for keeping you on track and giving you some inspiration. I like to go with very broad themes so that I don't get bored drawing the same thing over and over. My themes are usually like European wildlife, forests, dog breeds, architecture, human form, beach, mountains, etc, etc. Really broad. So if I feel like pushing that theme to the very limit, I can. Or if I just feel like drawing a few lines, I can make it as simple as possible. And to go along with that, make a list at the beginning of each week of more than seven things within the theme you've chosen. For example, if European wildlife is my broad theme, I should have more than seven animals written down on the list. Let's say badger, hedgehog, European robin, field mouse, wild boar, wolves, elk, red squirrel, fox. Uh, I think that's one, two, three, four, five. That's nine animals. So I've got two extra. The two extra is just so that I can pick and choose which animals on the list that I want to draw without feeling locked into having to draw a specific seven. Because there may be a day that you don't really feel like drawing. A European Robin and that's the only one left on your list you want to have at least two more three more however many more you want so you don't feel stuck having to draw just those seven animals and there's also gonna be days when your brain is just blah 
you can't remember any animal at all. You can't even remember a dog. So that's what this list is for, is to keep you going and give you a ready-made subject. Another thing that is going to help make sure that you sketch every day is to choose one or two art mediums a week. Along with your theme, make sure that you have a few art supplies picked out that you can take with you on the go or just have beside your couch for when you feel the urge to doodle. Have a specific box or bag that you keep your art supplies in and change them out whenever you feel like changing out the art medium that you use. And make sure it's relatively small so that you can keep it on your coffee table or on your bedside table or wherever you happen to be when you feel like you're going to be in an artsy kind of mood. This will make sure that you sketch because some people will be sitting on the couch watching a movie and go, I feel like sketching, but my sketchbook's all the way in the other room. So I'll just sit here and watch the movie and not sketch. And then you've missed your golden opportunity. Now this one might seem obvious, might seem strange. It wasn't obvious for me for a long time and I kind of accidentally did this to myself and uh, well, you'll just see. Choose one particular spot or time of day to draw. Your brain loves routine and just as we can control our sleep pattern, somewhat. We can also control when and where we get in the artsy mood. I have two main places where I make my art and two main times of the day when I do my art. The places are at my drafting table where I film and on the couch in front of the TV. And the two main times is first thing in the morning, even before I've had any coffee, and last thing at night before I go to bed. Honestly, I should not have picked the couch or the evening because whenever I sit down to watch a movie my hand automatically reaches over for that sketchbook and I don't actually think I've actually watched quote unquote my hands are doing air quotes here watched a movie since I started daily sketches I've listened to plenty but I actually had my eyes on the screen no that is what I mean about accidentally did this to myself it was not my choice to forget what every handsome actor's face looked like. It's my sketchbook. It calls to me. The next thing that will keep you going is to post your art on social media or share it with a handful of people. This will keep you accountable. Even though people aren't going to be like, I haven't seen a post today. Someone isn't doing their job. It will still give you the feeling that you have people to answer to. Now this idea might stress some people out too much. And if it does stress you out, don't do it. There will be a lot of ugly sketches along the way and some people would rather chew off their arm than post ugly art. But I made a promise to myself and to others when I started my daily sketches that I was going to post all my daily sketches whether they were ugly or not. Because I like being transparent and telling people how things are. No, really, I'm just too lazy to redo them. And last, but certainly not least, have another goal besides just improvement. Improving your art skills is in and of itself a great goal to have, but if it's the only goal you have, then you'll begin to slack off and tell yourself, well, I really improved last week, so I can take a week off, no biggie. That week will turn into a month or a year if you aren't careful. When I started, my goal was to improve, but I also wanted to play around with styles and find my own style to use with comic strips, animations, and children's book illustrations. I also wanted to push myself out there into the online world and start sharing my art with everyone. I had smaller and short-term goals along the way, but those were my main three goals for that year. And after I was done with my full year of sketches, I realized how far I had come and how far I still wanted to go. My focus has changed from completing a simple sketch every day to larger scale monthly projects to expand my knowledge and skill set, but all of those tips in this video still apply. So I hope these tips were helpful. If sketching every day isn't a goal you want to set for yourself, but you are still looking for tips for keeping your sketchbook going, then I hope you can utilize some of these things I mentioned in the video. Hope you found this video fun and informative. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see weekly videos. I upload on Tuesdays or Fridays. 
It's generally Tuesdays, but sometimes, like this week, there was no internet on Tuesday, so it had to wait till Friday. If you want to follow my social media, the links are in the description, along with a list of the art supplies I used in this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.